if you are not able to open your logitech option plus and getting these two kind of problem the first one here is backend connection problem click here to launch backend and second is despite you have provided access to your logitech option plus but still your mac os tahoe is not recognizing it then not to worry guys in this video i'm gonna show you how you can fix that in your mac os hi there everyone welcome to the mac essentials where we help you to elevate your mac os experience so if you are new to this channel i would recommend you to subscribe to it where we cover various topics around mac os now in order to resolve this issue first of all what we need to do is we need to go here in finder and apps and in apps i would request you to simply delete this enter your password and then you will see that and that's how you can delete your existing setup. The problem is coming due to the latest addition of this Logi Plus option. What we need to do in this case is we need to download an older version. Now, which older version? Let me quickly show you. So here what you see is Logitech options older version. And I would recommend you to go with this 10.22.14 um, and then not to worry guys I'm going to also provide you the direct link here in the description of this video. Simply go down and download this. And after we download we again need to follow the same steps where uh, you simply need to make a double click on it and then uh, you're going to install it. Now after installation, again, it is asking us to, you know, provide some permission. Um, here again, I'm going to click on open and now let me enable this option. After enabling this option here, we can see this Logitech option is working perfectly fine and both my mouse and keyboards are detected. So that's how guys you can resolve this problem and if you are still facing any problem then in that case i would also recommend you to either use dedicated tools for an installation like app cleaner you simply need to uh, you know drop your app directly to it like this and then this will make sure that all the residue files are being covered I hope guys you find this video helpful and informational. If so, then please make sure you subscribe to The Mac Essential for more such topics. And I will see you in the next one. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.